This is the first dune buggy. No, it's not a Myers Manx. There's something that came before the Manx. And Myers was popularized the certainly popularized the dune buggy, but he got his ideas from somewhere else. And this is one of the places he got his ideas. This is an empty Sportster, which was sold both in kit and completed form. It, you would have picked up back in the 60s, early 60s, a popular mechanics magazine, which was the hot magazine back in the day, and they would have had plans and advertisements for the first dune buggy. This empty Sportster. This one is unique. It's rare. It's real. It's a genuine empty Sportster. This is a 1960. So these things date back. The engine is a 67. You can see it's cool and crude. It's got a fold-down windshield. The windshield folds down all the way flat. It is street legal. It is also set up for dirt. All of these MPs are a little bit different because they're all handcrafted. You're talking about, you know, early 60s technology. Very lightweight, fun, and you never see them. They're really cool. And when you take it to a car show or somewhere, you can be sure that you'll generate lots of smiles and lots of attention. This one has a really solid chassis, great engine, performs well. As you can see, it's got a, a bus differential. This one was equipped with Mustang taillights. It's got oak back here. It lifts up for engine access and looks cool. Storage compartment in the back. Your aluminum hot rod tank, foam steering wheel, roll bar for safety, dual mirrors, typical dune buggy type uh, pod headlights, uh, and it runs and drives well. Crash and burn.
If you'd like to find out more information, feel free to contact us over at driven.co in Southern California. This is a California vehicle. It's very solid. Don't have to worry about rust issues. Um, you can reach us at 949-234-6353 or see us on driven.co, not com, but .co. Come check this thing out. You'll fall in love. We have.